A very good morning. All of our lives have changed this year. Each of us adapting to living through a pandemic and trying to make peace with the unpredictable. It has been rightly said, life is about accepting the challenges along the way, choosing to keep moving forward and saving the journey. So, we renewed hope. I heartily welcome you all to the new session. Every morning brings us new thoughts, new strength and endless possibilities. So, to enlighten us and brighten our morning, I would like to call upon Alankrita Acharya for a reading from the Holy Bible and Ms. Reena for the reflection. A reading from the Holy Bible, Matthew chapter 18 verses 1 to 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus asking, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So Jesus called a child, made him stand in front of them and said, I assure you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter to the kingdom of heaven. The greatest in the kingdom of heaven is the one who humbles himself and becomes like this child. And whoever welcomes in my name, one such child as this welcomes me. This is the word of the Lord. In today's gospel, Jesus expresses his abundant love for his children. The Lord tells us to be like children who are pure, innocent and simple. If we can cultivate these simple virtues, then Jesus promises us the place of his kingdom. Children, you are very special as you have been created in the image of God. May you be like a sunflower in this garden of Oxalium, following the values and virtues that your teachers try to implant in you. We pray that Jesus may help you to be good always. Let us pray individually in our mind. Lord God, teach me to be simple like a child. Let me be obedient as you were to your heavenly Father. May I be humble, forgiving and loving to all. Help me to speak good language always and stretch out my hands to help others. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I would kindly request our principal, Sister Jaya Sebastian, Vice Principal, Sister Sangeeta Guru, Ms. Mandeep, and Sir Ravi Karki to commence the program with the lighting of the lamp.
I would now like to call upon Riyanshi Das, Ajisman Das and Adanrita Barman for the prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for all the good things you have given me. Help me to be always good and truthful. Bless my mommy and daddy and all my dear ones. Bless my motherland with peace and prosperity. Protect and defend us from all evils. Amen. Prayer for protection. Almighty God, creator and protector of the universe, bless us and our school with your most precious favor. Shield and safeguard us from every danger and misfortune. Preserve our school, state and country from fire, lightning, earthquake, thieves and from every other threat. May your holy hands be upon us always. Amen. Prayer for school. Almighty God, bless our school with your most gracious favor and prosper it in all worthy and honest undertakings. May love, truth and goodness abound within its walls and may right judgment and common sense prevail. Give the staff and students your wisdom and your goodness that together we may serve you as one great family. Amen. I would now like to request the choir to grace the occasion with a prayer song.
social and instill a love of learning. Our teachers would like to convey a short message to all our students. Hope this new school year will be amazing for you. May it bring new opportunities to learn new things. So children, all the very best and stay safe. Hello students, we have started with a new session. So I take this opportunity to wish you all good luck for the session 2021-22. May each one of us grow as an individual and as a team. All the best. God bless us all. Hello dear students. As you begin another school year, find something to celebrate every day. Welcome dear students. All the best and God bless you. Good morning students. Welcome you all to the new session. As we start this new scholastic year of 2021-22, let's all work together to make this session a more beautiful and a more enjoyable and successful one. So I wish you all the best study hard and do best in whatever you do. Thank you. I'm excited to see all your faces. Welcome to the new academic session. Hello children. Welcome to a fresh new session. This year will be wonderful and we'll learn a lot of new things together. I wish you all a very good luck. Hello dear Blooming Birds, hope you all are safe and doing well at home. I heartily welcome each one of you for this new scholastic year. Hopefully we'll meet soon. Till then all of you take care and study well. All the best. Education is the gateway to a world of dreams. Motivation is the key. All your hard work is paying off. May this school year be the best. Welcome back all of you and enjoy your coming year. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So class 3C, let us all meet once again together and let's make learning our fun. I'm waiting for you all. Thank you. I want to welcome all my students. I'm so glad that you all are here. And it's going to be a great year. Happy start of the new school year. Dear students, develop a passion for learning and you will never cease to grow. I wish you all the best for the new session. Thank you. Welcome students to the new academic session of 2021-22. I hope we'll begin our new chapter with a new era this is. So you will have all your dreams and aspirations come true. So best of luck and best wishes for all your dreams. Hope it will be true and you'll be safe and sound. Have a fantastic new year. Before we conclude with the program, we have a message from our principal, Sister Jaya Sebastian. Good morning, dear parents, teachers, and my dear students. God in His goodness has brought us together once again for a fresh start. To embark on a journey as auxiliaries, we vouch ourselves to hold each other's hand to reach the shore successfully. Every new year brings newness in the surroundings, in our experiences and situations. So also in the new academic year 21-22, which we have just begun, has also its newness, joy, beauty and vitality. We have in the administrative and teaching faculty a few new faces. First of all, I remember with gratitude Sister Janice Varghese, who rendered a commendable job as administrator of the school. She is transferred and we have Sister Regina Murmu, the new administrator. I wish Sister Regina all the very best and God's abundant blessings. We have also Sister Christina Momin, Mr. Pushkar Karmakar as new teachers in the primary wing and Ms. Birida Bandari as librarian. 
We thank God for everyone and pray for them. Let us always and everywhere be reminded of God's preferential love and grace lavished upon us so generously and remain grateful to Him. A grateful person is a happy person. In the first place, let us always be grateful to God the Almighty for His overshadowing grace and love upon us. Let me illustrate the same with an anecdote. There was a bird who lived in a desert, very sick, no feathers, nothing to eat and drink, no shelter to live in. One day a dove was passing by. So the sick unhappy bird stopped the dove and inquired, Where are you going? It replied, I am going to heaven. The sick bird said, Please find out for me when my suffering will come to an end. The dove said, Sure, I will. And bid a goodbye to the sick bird. The dove reached heaven and shared the message of the sick bird with the angel in charge at the entrance gate. The angel said, For the next seven years of its life, the bird has to suffer like this. No happiness till then. The dove said, When the sick bird hears this, he will get disheartened. Could you suggest any solution for this? The angel replied, Tell him to recite this verse. Thank you God for everything. The dove on meeting the sick bird again delivered the message of the angel to it. After seven days, the dove was again passing by and saw that the bird was very happy. Feathers grew on his body. A small plant grew up in the desert area. A small pond of water was also there. The bird was singing and dancing cheerfully. The dove was astonished. The angel had said that there would be no happiness for the bird for the next seven years. With this question in mind, the dove went to visit the angel at heaven's gate. The dove put forth his query to the angel. The angel replied, Yes, it is true. There was no happiness for the bird for seven years, but because the bird was reciting the verse, Thank you God for everything. In every situation, his life changed. When the bird fell down on the hot sand, it said, Thank you God for everything. When it could not fly, it said, Thank you God for everything. When it was thirsty and there was no water around, it said, Thank you God for everything. Whatever the situation, the bird kept on repeating, Thank you God for everything. And therefore, the seven years got dissolved in seven days. Dear parents, teachers, and my dear students, you are invited through this story to have a shift of attitude. In your struggles, in your pains, difficulties, study pressure, behavior concerns, etc., keep repeating in your heart, Thank you God, thank you God for everything. 
then there will be a tremendous shift in your way of feeling thinking and accepting your life as it is nothing is going to be burdensome for you whatever be the situation you start reciting this verse thank you god for everything suppose you have a headache learn to thank god that the rest of your body which is completely fine and healthy and you notice that the headache does not bother you at all similarly using the same words you can enjoy peace freedom love and happiness let's develop an attitude of gratitude thank god for your parents siblings teachers school struggles and for everything recite this verse continuously to experience the shift in your life so be grateful and see the change in your attitude it can reshape our life be humble and you will never stumble remember to thank god for everything we wish of you a graceful scholastic year with plenty of surprises and god's blessings thank you may god bless you now i request everyone to stand in attention position for the school anthem
can conclude that the purpose of this prayer service has been completely accomplished. We would like to pay our deep respect to our Honorable Sister Principal, Sister Vice Principal for organizing such a meaningful prayer service. Furthermore, we would love to thank our team of teachers and students for their hard work in arranging this event. Coming to an end, we wish you a happy, meaningful and most importantly, a happy